back in the day. It is June seventh, two hundred and fifty-five years ago, seventeen sixty-nine. Daniel Boone started exploring Kentucky. <gasps> Ninety-four years ago, in nineteen twenty-nine, Vatican City became its own independent country. Hmm. 58 years ago in 1965, the Supreme Court of the U.S. ruled that it is legal for married couples to use contraceptives. Until then, Connecticut had a law that said it was unconstitutional for married couples to, you know, waste it. <laughs> 48 years ago in 1975, Sony introduced their Betamax video cassette recorder to the public. It cost $995 in 1975. Betamax ended up losing the home video war to VHS, none of which matters in the slightest anymore. 43 years ago in 1980, Mel Gibson married Robin Moore, who he had known since he was an unknown actor working at a small theater company in Australia. They were together for 29 years and had seven kids together. 51 years ago in 1982, Pr uh, Priscilla Presley opened Graceland to the public. Five years after Elvis's death, the bathroom where Elvis passed away on the toilet was closed to visitors. Bummer. 38 years ago in 1985, the Goonies. The Goonies hit theaters. I'm going to go ahead. Right there. 30 years ago, 1993, Chuck Berry, Billy Joel, and Pete Townsend were among the celebrities attending the groundbreaking ceremonies for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio, which finally counts Alice Cooper, Deep Purple, and Rush among its members. 30 years ago, in 1993, Prince celebrated his birthday. Yes, today is Prince's birthday Aww. by changing his name to that unpronounceable symbol. 30 years ago, 1993, Woody Allen lost his bitter custody battle with Mia Farrow. 29 years ago, in 1994, Stone Temple Pilots released their second album, Purple, featuring Vaseline and Interstate Love Song. 27 years ago, The Rock, the movie, was released. 14 years ago, 2009, Brett Michaels was injured after performing at the Tony Awards when a set piece fell on his head while he was exiting the stage. You guys remember that? No. Whoa. Are you serious? You haven't seen this video? I, I'm sure I did back when it happened, but I don't. I forgot about that. Oh, you got to look at that video, okay. dude. Brett Michaels on the Broadway stage. His number gave headbanging a whole new meaning. <laughs> he's fine. He he's like he's he's Brett Michaels. I mean he's he's, he's all like hey, look at that rock star. Right. Gah, gah, gah. And then he turns around to like you know do his sachet off the stage, and there's a big giant like. It's like a wall coming down, uh -huh. and boy, he knows Sweet first into that Brad. sucker. You haven't seen. Look, 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 look. Here it is. We'll oh, post no. this up on the blog because he is just Brett Michaels. He's his Michaelist. This was at the Tony Awards. Oh, yeah, God. here it comes, here it comes. Then he goes, boop. Oh! Oh, buddy boy. <laughs> He's even like skipping. He like Zow jumps into wee. it. And if I la, remember la, right, la, 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 it broke his nose. I think. Uh, Ding. Poof. I mean, like a cartoon. He it is closed. the sweetest oh. guy. Like, that sucks. <laughs> Clothesline him. And eight years I ago. I wish I knew what he said there. Oh, yeah. Neil Packard. Neil he Patrick looks like he has some comes out afterwards. Yeah. Eight years ago, 2015, horror legend Christopher Lee passed away at the age of 93. He was Dracula. He was the evil wizard uh, Saruman in Lord of the Rings. He was in um, Star Wars. He was Count Dooku. Hmm. And that is what happened. And that dude? You ever watch an interview with that guy? Mm -mm. He was former British Special Forces SAS. Get out of here. There's a cool... I forgot what movie... Oh, I think it was Peter Jackson. He told Peter Jackson and had something to do with getting stabbed because he gets killed in that movie. And he, like, did some kind of, like, silent scream. And Peter Jackson's like, I think it would be more like this. And he goes, well, I've stabbed a man. <laughs> oh, my. So I know what it sounds like. And it doesn't sound like that. And he said, Peter Jackson was like, no notes. <laughs> That's awesome. Watch okay. the interview, dude. He was okay, a Mr. He, Lee. dude. He was a intense dude. And it looks uh, like an he was a legitimate. Dude. He fought in like World War II in the British SAS, and he was a wow. legit badass. I mean, you can't play Saruman and not be a pretty pretty serious. Yeah, his thing. interview was just really interesting. Like he's and he was. Very deadpan the way he delivered it. It was great. Man, and that's what happened back in the day. 